Michael Jordan played 15 years, won six championships. The other nine years was a failure. That's what you're telling me. I'm oh, answering your question. Yes or no? Okay, exactly. So why are you asking that question? It's a wrong question. There's no failure in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful. Some days you're not. Some days it's your turn. Some days it's not your turn. <coughs> That's what sports is about. You don't always win. Some other other people is gonna win. And this year, some days you win. Simple as that. We're gonna come back next year. Try to be better. Try to build good habits. Try to um, play Bro. better. Not Bro. About ten days straight to uh, play bad basketball. Somebody got six. You know, hopefully we can win a championship. So 50 years of 1971 to 2021, like we didn't win a championship. It was 50 years of failure. Somebody got six. No, it was not. It was steps <laughs> to it, you know, and we were able to win one. Hopefully we can win. Bro. One. Please just answer the question, bro. He asked you if you thought if you thought your season was a failure, bro. Like you know, we got I got kids, bro. I wasn't. I, my wife kind of mad. Cause I wasn't planning on being here this long. I told her I was gonna be right back. You know what I mean? But because like so so that means no, you don't believe your season was a failure, or you know what? Don't even worry about it. We got next year. You can pay a lot of money. Next time, answer the question, get straight to it. Yeah, I get it, I get it, bro. I, I do the same thing. When people ask, I, I lost a fight before. Somebody asked, hey, you feel like you lost? I mean, but, you know, the thing is, right, you know, I, I, I was able to get up. You know, I got up a couple times, you know what I mean? But did you hit it? Not me. Look, it don't, look, it, who really wins a fight? We both lost, you know what I mean? You, I'm justifying right now. <laughs> Let me break it down a little bit. When it comes to professionalism, especially when it comes to a professional athlete that's making that amount of money, that gets paid to do what he loves to do. Bro, we don't feel sorry for you. We don't. Y'all just lost, man. Y'all lost. Y'all lost. It's cool. People lose. But one thing I will give you credit for is there were people that were listening to you, that will relate to everything you just said. It's steps to losses, it's steps to losses, it's steps to losses, it is. The old man used to tell me, whenever you take an L, it depends on how you look at it. Is the L a lesson or is it a loss? Did you lose or did you learn? He used to always say that, always say that. It's the only thing that kept me going back to the gym. Did you lose or did you learn? So I get where Giannis is coming from. You have to have that mindset. But LeBron and Kobe and Jordan, they would have answered that question a little bit differently. They would have said, yes, that was a failure. We didn't step up to the plate. You got personal, you got offended because the man was doing his job and asking you a question. And you took a long ass way of answering that question. I mean, I used to feel sorry for people when they do that. But not when you a bully on the court. Not when you're making that amount of money doing something you love to do. I don't like people picking on a little man. The little white boy was probably scared. He probably thought he was going to get checked after the, game, after the interview. Giannis, you got to be more careful, man. I know you're from... Uh oh. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings and salutations. It's your boy Sway with Friend of the Neighbor. I'm featuring the podcast today. Thank y'all for having me. So, yeah, um, I agree, but I disagree. But one, y'all know the man not even from America. Why y'all asking me these hard questions? He <laughs> <laughs> can barely interpret and explain and express himself correctly. So that's why it's a lot of misunderstanding. You know, and then secondly, it's people who get paid to get them little two, three minutes of extra ad time. You know, it gold accomplished. He just made fifty thousand because he got him to react for two, three minutes on one question. He got his airtime. And he all that to say He literally got a promotion. Don't do him like don't do him like that, Coach. Don't do him like that. My boy just got the rain. My boy Why y'all do him like that? This way from the neighbor. Shout out to Uncle Kempo, man. One more you know time so we can keep it. He lost. It's okay to lose. Let, you got I'm to just lose. saying, I just got to do it one more time. 
One more time. <laughs> He'll come back next year, full throttle, shooting three pointer. He's gonna be ready. He was hey. talking for a long time. Yeah, because he was offended, man. Y'all hurt. My boy lost, man. Why y'all? Hurt, man? <laughs> <laughs> he lost, man. Y'all know y'all. He get paid all his money. He can't react because he couldn't say what he really wanted to say. So he broke it down. He tried to be nice and sincere in a language that he don't even really speak for real. <laughs> all right. I respect so, uh, him. Shout, shout out to Gunner. Kimpo. Sorry about my <clears throat> mispronounce your name, but I well, respect you, brother. Giannis. Do your thing. Giannis. You know, we all get caught slipping, man. We all get caught up in the heat of the moment. We all get passionate, you know what I mean? And that mindset that you have, that's the mindset that would be perfect for a person that's going to get up and try and start over again. I'm talking about a different type of mindset. I'm talking about dogs. We don't sit back and make excuses. We don't attack people when we lose. We think about what we did wrong. We tighten up. We man up. And we don't show no sweat. That's who I'm talking to. I feel bad for some of the teammates. They might have took that the wrong way. But I know if I was in the locker room and we got beat like that, I would want to hear the, the the truth, the raw truth. I don't want to sit in the locker room and wait for for uh, Stephen A. Smith to light a fire under me. But you got to want the leader of my team to get up there and yeah. say, "Hey, we went hard. Uh -huh. We went hard." We, we trained, we prepared, I was with y'all, y'all were with me, but guess what, we didn't do enough. Because it's gonna take that to take you over the hump. Mm -hmm. But you gotta understand though, he did, he stuck to the quota. 35 points, 15 rebounds, he did his job, it's them other busters. His money guaranteed, he good. <laughs> <laughs> they, they mess with him, them other boys about to get kicked yeah, on the team somebody the about to get, yeah, yeah, somebody about to get hauled off. That one, he good, he certified. Yeah, somebody about to get hauled off. Coach, somebody I did what you told me, coach, I got my rebound, coach, I dumped the ball, coach. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else y'all want the man to do? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Um to Kimpo, man. Keep doing your thing. Kiko the Don, what you got to say about this, man? Shout out to my boy Kiko the Don, man. One of the flyers coming out of VI right now. Mr. International. You know what I'm saying? Let him know how you feeling, man. Fell in love with tall college hoes who love to shoot threes. 